Well, hello, and it has been a while. Yeah, I had to deal with the storm too. And after that I wanted to play Doom. And then there was the election. But here we are back again. And we're going to take you care of a few bits of business before we actually advance the story any. Namely, a few hunter missions. Yeah, it turns out I kind of forgot to turn in the last one. Ah! Uh, so it goes. Anyway, in this video I'm going to be taking on three of the Hunter missions. I decided to save the last one for a bit later, because if I included that one in this video it would have been way, way too long. I understand that some people can play games for hours on end or whatever, but I think watching other people's play games is something better taken in a bit smaller doses. The one exception I make for that is Ratsu Prey, actually. So anyway, we're going to look for the town of Uso, and I am going to fail miserably at it. Anyway, here's our new vehicle, the Hydrofoil. It has its own weapons and all that sort of thing. Yeah, I always forget where the town of Uzo is, so I actually cut out a fair bit of my random wandering around. The second special attack just does max damage to all enemies, like hits the damage cap four nines. Whoop! And here we are, in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to only come to this town again for, well, guild purposes. So 50,000 is still a pretty hefty reward. And... Really? They built a ramshackle raft to cross the ocean to do some shopping. Welcome to the post-apocalyptic uh, home shopping network, I guess. Well, actually, this would be more post-apocalyptic, post because there are societies and so on. It's not full of giant mohawk biker punks. Yeah, there's actually a scene earlier in the game, if you stay at the actual inn in Iado instead of just your house, where you can actually uh, hear those tr two try to escape or uh, and get caught on the way out. By the way, the bail is equal to the reward, in case you didn't notice. <sighs> it's just one of those missions. So anyway, I realize we're getting kinda close to the end of the game. And I'd just like to say a bit of something in advance, in case you may think I'm missing or skipping out on a couple of things like scenes or so on in the, the upcoming videos. Don't worry, I've got it covered.
I'm going to have to engage in a little bit of a recording trick out later on, but other than that, you will be seeing all of the relevant so story scenes in the game. Just leave it to me. Are we gonna have to win a football game for him? As usual, I leave in the vehicle combat sections because I like that it's a thing. This will be the focus of actually a couple of Hunter missions. The one we're on and another one later. Yeah, we even made it official. We wrote his name on pottery shards and everything. In any case, we now finally disposed of the last of our tourist trap souvenirs. it was necessary to the quest. Chaz, don't ray blade in other people's houses. Well, that was an easy 10,000 Masetta. So yeah, I think this video is actually the longest I've done so far. Possibly the Zio Tower one was longer. And I think this one may have required more editing. The thing is, I wanted to do some of the Hunter missions, but I did want to advance the story after being away from doing the Let's Play for so long. I had originally thought to record a video uh, while my power was out. We lost power basically from Monday evening through Saturday evening. However, it turns out my laptop battery is terrible. So I wasn't able to do the recording that I wanted to. In case, now we deal with those birds. At first, the inn. There's an actual legit boss at the end of uh, this hunter mission. They even gave him a portrait? Okay. The head honcho bird. <laughs> the big kahuna bird. The lord captain bird.
Bird O, the king of birds. <sighs> Rappies. Ugh. I'm normally an environmentalist, but I'm going to make an exception for Rappies. Yeah, the only reason they hit so hard as they do is that I kind of missed out on some equipment. Because, you see, pretty much right after you destroy the Garlberg Tower and first find out about Rykros, the uh, zombie village gets restored and they actually carry better armor than I have right now. And I forgot to get it. So I'm kind of going to go through this whole video rather under-equipped and I think a bit under-leveled for, you know, the story bit. Yeah, in between recording I'm going to have to just o jet over to Desolus and pick up the Laconian armor I missed. I also managed to somehow forget that there's no treasure in the Rappy Cave. Yeah, Rappies hit decently hard, well, for reasons I told you, and they don't give any kind of decent experience either. Like, I get less experience for uh, killing Rappies uh, than I did in Nervous or even Zyos Fort. Okay, I wouldn't go that far. And this was really another one of those videos where the monsters seem to be calling in reinforcements from other RPGs. Yeah, Rappies were first put forth in Fantasy Star 3. I guess they wanted to make a kind of cute mascot thingamabobber. However, they already had Meow, so I don't see why they needed that help. Anyways, the buffs are going up because this is a legit boss that can put the hurt on you. And unlike most of the bosses we're going to be fighting for most of the rest of the game, this one is not weak to destruct. What it is, however, weak to is fire. Burst Rock does not count as a fire attack, by the way, I checked. I keep an eye on these little niggling details so that you don't have to be huge nerds. See what I mean? <laughs> this is the only optional hunter boss that can't show up as a regular enemy later. But thankfully it's not too hard, even with my poorly equipped and, well, whatever, uh, crew. And down it goes with the huge experience boost.
Okay. Um, introduction of foreign species. A war boss bird. Oh god, it's the Metal Gear 1 plan. Solid Snake, you were too good. Chaz has decided not to be a long-term thinker this time. Oh well! So that's the last of the Hunter missions I'll be tackling. The last one is actually going to get its own video because it's actually really involved compared to the other Hunter missions we've done so far. Also, I want it to be its own video because I'm in going to need to take a good long while to uh, make sure I have everything before it's done. There is actually a bit of a time limit uh, where you can complete uh, the last Hunter mission. You have to avoid triggering a certain story event uh, before you try to go after the last Hunter mission. But anyway, to the inn. And unlike the other village searching we had to do, Soldier's Temple really is right there. Oh, hello! <clears throat> and with good reason, as we'll see. Rune is distracted. Something is up. Okay, he's an archaeologist with some pretty good equipment. Uh, shadow corrosion, my deaths. Oh dear. Those are not wholesome skills, there, chief. But still, new party member. And there are some actual good treasures in this cave. That is not one of them. Yeah, these are regular enemies, however they don't give the boss experience anymore. Oh well. However, the regular enemy versions are immu uh, are vulnerable to death attacks, so... We're good. God, I'm going to be wandering around in this cave for a while. The enemies here aren't actually anything we can't handle, especially with Seth along for the ride. I like being able to actually afford using skills on uh, trash mobs. And I've just alienated about three dozen uh, classic uh, gamers by using the words trash mobs.
Yeah, Rika doesn't have any status curing techs. You know, Shriekers are really just stronger toadstools. They have a new attack which puts people to sleep, and well, we know how effective that is. We've got nothing to worry about in here. This was a part of a game that I don't actually remember all that well. I remember pretty much everything before and after that, but the Soldier's Temple Cave is not all that memorable. So you're going to see me blunder around quite a bit. In any case, I've done some thinking, and Fantasy Star 4 is probably going to be the last RPG I uh, let's play, at least for a while. Because of all the legwork involved in editing everything down and so on. Regdrin has considered, you know, me and him doing a... Uh, some kind of uh, collaborative uh, let's play of Riviera the Promised Land. And I've been thinking about saying yes, because I really, really like Riviera. It's probably my... It's probably my favorite JRPG of the previous decade. But granted, because I don't own that many new systems, I have a rather small sample size on that account. But if I decide not to do that, I've got some other ideas in mind. This is just a cave, so I feel rather secure in talking about that. A bit after this is done, after I've, you know, taken a break and... Well, whatever all else. I'm thinking of opening up something uh, like a... Like a rip-off of uh, Franco Maddox's short game theater uh, thread. Basically, where I put uh, whips of uh, all the games I like to do, but I feel are just too short or sparse to really uh, earn their own whole thread on their own. It's where I'd put things like Valus 3 and Glaylancer and all that sort of thing. God, there are a lot of enemies. I don't know what happened. And it's only when I'm recording. Thankfully, we're fairly close to the end of the cave. As soon as I can puzzle my way through it. I think I've found one of each kind of do in this cave. Ah, uh, Newman say the darndest things. And we're finally out of it! In case, I tried to uh, remove Seth's power armor, but apparently I didn't have anything else he could equip. It's actually a really good piece of armor that increases the wearer's strength. 
That I guess I'll just have to do without this playthrough. Nobody's perfect and I'm definitely a nobody. How does Arrow Prism work? Lol, I dunno. You used it before... God! Far into the sky? No worries. We have a spaceship. We also have more immediate problems. What kind of problems? Dark Force problems. Does this mean Dark Force has been masquerading as a human? Okay, I made a mistake. Dark Force 3 is the second most durable boss in the game. But the final boss still has almost three times as many hit points, so... Oh boy. More hit points, less party members. Now, it's actually quite possible to bring Seth along for the final Hunter mission, but the thing about that is that the monsters in the last Hunter mission are actually mostly immune or at least very resistant to all of Seth's abilities, and he'd basically just be soaking up all of the experience you'd be gaining well, in part, uh, from uh, going through uh, that mission. So there are some very good reasons to not take Seth uh, for that uh, optional quest. So, Dark Force uh, 3 has corrosion? And hurts re he bad? Like so. And I think he's probably the hardest incarnation of Dark Force. I know I've died to this form uh, at least once. And here's where I fumble around for ideas. Thankfully, Dark Force is still kinda weak to destruct and, well, FS and so on. And come to think of it, wasn't the last story boss we fought also Dark Force? They're kinda packing them in pretty thick in here. And come to think of it, this would mean that there were four concurrent Dark Forces if you count the one that's on board the Alicia 3. that I might have liked to have added uh, is something like in uh, Final Fantasy uh, to uh, Dawn of Souls version where uh, Chaz or someone has a vision of a short battle sequence of the Fantasy Star 3 final party uh, doing a uh, round or two of uh, battle with the Fantasy Star 3 version of Dark Force. Now that is actually bad. 
And I think this may have actually made the fight a lot closer than it should have been. I also like how they stuck with the fact that Dark Horse never takes the same form twice throughout the entire Fantasy Star series. Chaz is almost out of Nathu. I think I came into this under leveled. Well, it should be over pretty soon. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's our third Dark Horse down. You know, there's a bit of a debate over whether Seth was, you know, just pretending to be human or whether he was an actual human who was just possessed by a dark force. You, the viewer, decide. We have to hurry, but first I will do the next side quest. Well, anyway, that is the end of that, and I will be seeing you next video where we take on the robots.